Hey there, as a student at MCC, you have lots of technology available to you. Uh, and so what I want to do is spend a few moments to just go over, uh, more specifically, Canvas um, and uh, how you're going to get through that, where you need to go, what you need to be aware of, and uh, other items like that. So once you sign on using our new single sign-on system, login.mockcalm.edu, you're going to be taken to your My Apps page where you're going to see a list of familiar apps available to you as a student at MCC. Some of the apps include Outlook for checking your email, My Mock Column for accessing student information, and also Canvas for accessing any of your course content delivered to you by your instructors. Now you can see a lot of other different app tiles here. Most of them are a part of Office 365 offerings, including OneDrive for storing MCC-related files. In fact, we highly recommend that you store your MCC files using OneDrive uh, for both security purposes and giving us the ability to recover any files that you may accidentally delete or have mysteriously vanish on you. But before we go into specific apps, let's take a minute to talk about password retrieval or setting up or resetting uh, your current password. So to do that, if you go to your profile and then click on the profile option, this is going to take you to your profile area where you're going to see an option to change your password and also edit your security information. Now we highly recommend that you set up security questions for you to reset your password so you don't have to rely on the MCC service desk in the event that you forget your password. So to do that, all you're gonna do is click on the edit security info. And once in the security info area, you're gonna see that you have the option to add a method. Once you click on that, you're gonna see a drop down, And from that list, you will see the option for security questions. Now just as a side note, you're gonna see a lot of different options here. Just a heads up, MCC is moving to multi-factor authentication. In fact, we recently put it into works for all MCC employees. Multi-factor requires you to have an additional device when signing on just to verify that you are actually the person signing on. This helps to increase our security at MCC, uh, and this is something that uh, we are going to get, have to get used to as phishing attacks continue and more people are trying to authenticate or enter into your account to do things that they should be doing. But in any case, we're here to set up security questions so that you can change your password should you forget it. So you click on the security questions option, click on add, and you're going to see the drop down for different security question choices. So for each one, you're going to go through and fill them in and, or, add, or select the question that you choose and make sure that you also give an answer to each question. When you have completed all five, the save option will light up and you will be ready to go. Now, heading back to the My Apps area, let's take a moment to look at Canvas and see what Canvas has to offer us. To access Canvas, all we have to do is click on the Canvas tile and that will open up in a new tab for us. Um, when you enter Canvas, it's going to take you directly to what's called the Canvas dashboard. Uh, this is going to be a place where your courses that you're currently enrolled in are going to show up. Uh, a couple things about those courses. First of all, they'll only show up on the dashboard if they are favorited. So if you're enrolled in a course and it's not showing up on the dashboard, uh, don't panic. Uh, I'll show you how to get to that here in a second. Uh, another item that you need to be aware of is if your instructor has not published your course yet, uh, which they have all the control over, um, it won't show up on your dashboard. So you may be in a course and you may have it ready to show on your dashboard, but if your instructor hasn't published it yet, uh, it's not going to be available to you. Um, so let's take a look over here in the green area at the global navigation. Uh, this is going to be a navigation bar that's going to show up no matter where you're at in Canvas and more on that here in a little bit as well. Um, but if your course isn't showing up, all you need to do is go to the courses area and click on all courses. And you're going to see a list here and in this case, I'm using a test user right now. Uh, this test user only has two courses. Um, some of you may have uh, a few more courses than what you're seeing right here. Um, and you may see them divided up such as things like current enrollments and future enrollments. Um, if you're in, uh, if you have a past enrollment, I mean, that, that, there's a section for that as well. Um, but in any case, if you want it to show up on your dashboard, all you have to do is make sure that the star is filled in. And then you can go right back to your dashboard uh, and that course will show up for you. Um, a couple other items before we actually go into the course. Um, you have the ability to check your calendar, so if uh, assignments and events were posted within your courses by your instructors, um, they will actually show up on your calendar if, if, if you go to that. Uh, and you can see this test user has some, some sample items uh, that show up there as well. Uh, you need to get in, if you need to get in touch with an instructor or someone else within your course, uh, you can go to the inbox uh, feature here, and if you click on this little feather, 
icon, you can actually select a course and then message individuals within your course. All right, and you can see how that works. Um, as far as uh, the messages go, uh, you can actually uh, link it to your email so that any message sent in Canvas or sent to you in Canvas will show up uh, in your email. And to do that, you just go up to your account. And there's a few items that I want to show you around here uh, in account. You can see this test user doesn't actually have a profile picture. I'll show you how to get one of those on display as well. Uh, but if we go to your settings first, I'm going to skip profile. I'll come back to that. But if we go to your settings, uh, this is where you can actually link your email address. Um, and it's very easy to do. You just click on the plus sign and use your email of choice. Um, there's also other ways that you can um, other ways that you can connect. You can connect via uh, text message. Uh, there's also the option to connect your social media uh, as well. If you'd like to get notifications via Twitter, uh, that is an option. Um, but here is where, like I said, uh, you can um, view what your profile settings have. As far as actually editing your profile settings, you're going to go to profile. And then over in the upper right hand corner, if you just click on edit profile, that will allow you to do things like um, change the bi biography. Um, from here you can also change your profile picture, which I highly recommend you do, uh, especially if you are a student enrolled in online and or hybrid courses, uh, as those courses don't meet face to face as much and it's much easier for your peers and your instructor. Uh, and vice versa to put a face with a name if they can see your profile picture. Uh, it's also good to let other individuals know that you're not just uh, student A, B, C, or D, uh, but you actually have some hobbies and interests. So uh, filling that out um, is a good idea. Uh, lastly, in the account area is notifications. Canvas allows you to set your notifications based on how you want to receive them. You can see that there's a key up here uh, and you have the option to be notified right away. Uh, you can get a summary, a daily summary, and you get a weekly summary, or you can choose, I don't want to know anything. Uh, what, this applies to each different uh, uh, row here. Okay, So you can see um, if a due date has been set, you can adjust to be notified right away. Uh, you can get a summary at the end of the day, summary at the end of the week, or I just don't want to know if due dates have been adjusted. Uh, and you can see that there's a lot of different um, account notifications that you can set. Uh, and fine tune. Please keep in mind that these notifications apply to all of your courses. This isn't a course by course notification setting. Um, when you set these, uh, they apply to notifications for all of your courses. Okay. Uh, there's no save needed. You just set those items and set it and forget it. So uh, that's pretty much it as far as your account goes uh, and uh, uh, the global navigation. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, well, there is one more thing uh, the help menu. Um, our service desk is located in the city on the city campus in the Dozier building and uh, TLC uh, building in the Greenville campus. Uh, but they have hours that they're open and closed. So if you were to need assistance in Canvas outside of those hours, uh, um, generally uh, Monday through Friday after 7 p.m., uh, the service desk shuts down. Um, but if you're going to need help outside of that on Canvas, we have Tier 1 support. Uh, and so all you need to do is click on the help menu and you can call Canvas, email Canvas, and I recommend that you chat with Canvas. Um, they're very prompt, they'll be there right away, 24-7, uh, 365. So um, they will always be there if you're having a Canvas issue or you can't access something or whatever the deal is. So uh, just so that you are aware of that. Uh, moving away from the global navigation, let's head on back to the dashboard and let's actually uh, access one of our courses. Um, I have a test course set up, so I'm going to go ahead and access that just so you can have a little uh, look around and, and see what is in the course. Um, like I said, this course won't be here unless the instructor publishes it uh, and you favored it, uh, but once that does happen, there it is. And here's what you're going to see. Uh, you'll notice that we have a new navigation bar that pops up. Uh, it's called the course navigation bar. Okay, Our global navigation bar is still there with all the items that I just covered. Uh, but now we have another uh, navigation that's specific to the course uh, you're in. Your instructor has the ability to set the items that will appear on the course navigation. So uh, some of you may see more choices in one course compared to the next course, um, like because that is uh, up to the instructor. Uh, this one is set for the modules to be the home page. Uh, we encourage instructors to use modules as as the home page and as the main uh, uh, media to share content, course content with you. Uh, you can see this one is divided up on a weekly basis. So as you go to your course, you look at module one and you see what you need to do in the materials that you will need. Uh, you'll have an assignment. Uh, you might have a discussion. You have some links that you need to access, maybe some supplemental resources. 
Um, you might have a quiz. There's lots of different items that your instructors can add. Your instructors have the ability to lock these items. So even though you can see them, uh, you may not have the ability to access them until the instructor uh, deems that you need them or maybe there's a certain date uh, which they will automatically uh, be available to you. A um, couple other items. Uh, over here on the right hand side, you, view your, you have your course stream. Uh, this is only going to be <clears throat> uh, visible on the right hand side. Um, it's just going to be a list of items that you have upcoming as far as due dates go, point values, things like that. You can actually click to access the items uh, from that area. If you've turned something in and recently received feedback, well that will go in the recent feedback area. This course here is set up so that uh, announcements show up on the home page. Uh, a snippet, the last three uh, announcements will actually show up. So encourage your instructor to um, post their announcements up there. If they don't know how to do that, just have them email me, Kevin Wagonmaker, uh, and I will make sure that they know how to do that. Uh, the last thing that I want to make sure that I point out for you is this Office 365 integration. For those of you that um, store your files using OneDrive, uh, you have access to all of those files within Canvas. If you're not quite sure what OneDrive is, uh, you can access it via Office 365. Uh, the good news is, is using that integration, you don't have to go to OneDrive. Um, all your files will be really, really available, so if you need to share a file or turn in a file, uh, you can do that right within Canvas. Um, so if that's a pretty good overview as far as the things that you will need to know uh, regarding Canvas in your life and your courses, uh, it's a very easy LMS learning management system for you to put to use. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact the service desk. They can be reached uh, at service desk at montcalm.edu. Uh, if you need to contact me, Kevin Wagonmaker, my email is kevin.wagonmaker at montcalm.edu. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in and uh, have a great semester.